Hey, good morning, guys. Today, we are with Chris again. He's got his uh, BMW 735 IL. It's a 1989 E32. I just love these old BMWs, and uh, he picked this up a little while ago, and I've been wanting to drive it and film it ever since. This is a, besides him, it's a one-owner car. It's super clean. There's just a little bit of rust under the door sills, but he's actually gonna get that fixed pretty soon here. Otherwise, this BMW is pretty immaculate. Around 130,000 miles, four-speed automatic, three and a half liter inline six. Almost said V6 there, but it's an inline six. Uh, this is actually probably the same engine as that was in my 535i uh, from 1985. This though drives way better, and uh, I've been excited to get into a seven series. So let's take it for a drive here. Hey man, good to see you again. Good to see you. Long well, time no see. Yeah, people have been digging the Lexus video. Yeah, I saw that. You said this this key is really cool. For for mm -hmm. 89, having a key that does the whole shank thing is, oh, yeah. that's pretty sweet. So um, you said that was an option it back was, in the yeah, day? It was, an optional extra. Wow. Yeah. Sweet. So tell me a little bit about this car. I already kind of gave the people the overview, but how did you come about it? And uh, Let's see. why so, did you get it? Because <laughs> these things are, you know, it's they're great cars, but... Right. So this summer I was browsing Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace pretty much every day looking for an old BMW. I really wanted an E30 or an E28 5 Series. Okay. Uh, but I just happened to come across this. And the price was right, so I went and looked at it and test drove it. Didn't think I was going to buy it at first, but then um, the guy I was buying it from finally came down on the price to where I wanted to be. So I went and picked it up on the 4th of July and um, had it ever since. <laughs> Sweet. I love old BMWs, especially from this era. And um, I'm com immediately comparing this to the 535 E28 that I had. And it just feels so much more refined. It's so much quieter and more luxurious and everything is more damped and it's just very nice. What does the horn sound like? The horn. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like the horns in Driver 2 on PlayStation. Oh. Yeah. Driver 2. Driver 2. Yep. Throwback. PlayStation 2? PlayStation, PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2 uh 2. PlayStation 1 had PlayStation 1 have Driver 2? Sure I think it did, actually, it. yeah. And then PS3 had Driver San Francisco. That's right, that's right. Just every generation. Yeah. Gosh, man. Back then, these were, like, hot items. Yeah. This was the this was the luxury car to have. Yeah, so this car, brand new, in 1989. Um, I actually have the receipt for the car. The gentleman that bought it paid cash, $59,000 cash. Wow. Which, 89, that was a lot of money. I was just going to say, in today's money, that's equivalent to $116,000. Jeez. So. Well, I mean, that's what a new 7 Series costs. Exactly. So, yeah, so they haven't really changed in price. <laughs> that's awesome. How much how, how much did you pay for this? Uh, I paid just a little under two grand for it. Cool. The guy was asking a little over two grand. Wow. So you paid so. about 1% of its equivalent <laughs> market uh, value yeah. in today's money. I was going to say, it did depreciate a bit since yeah. I bought it. Right? I think you got the good end of the deal. I mean, second ownership is kind of the way to go these days. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what you took advantage of. Right. <laughs> so it does have, um, it does have a car phone that's built in. Oh, yeah, I saw Motorola that. Motorola car phone. Does it still work? Uh, in the UP. Here, there's a little button you got to press to get it out. I've oh. almost broken it a few times. In the UP? Yeah. The UP and Russia and some parts of Canada. Wow. It does work still. That's really cool. Ameritech, I remember those guys. Yeah. And it just snaps right back in. That's just that's just one of those things that used to be a thing. Yeah. And now we just have everything in our pockets. Exactly. <clears throat> does ever does all the power, like windows and mirrors and, and yep. seats and everything work? Yep. The front seats are power, obviously. The rear seats are power. Head oh, rear really? headrests are power. Oh wow. Uh, mirrors are power, and um, it all works. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's that's a testament to 
like these old BMWs being the ultimate driver's car. Like this was the era when BMW was the ultimate driver's car. After that, eh, who knows? But um, this was kind of when they were just rocking it. Everything was overbuilt. Everything was just great. They drove yeah. well. They they were reliable. And you said, how long have you had this? I've had it for two months ish. Okay. Cool. And in that two months, it's probably been pretty reliable. So. Yep. Man, I can't see a damn thing here. We're gonna go north a little bit. Hopefully. Uh, how are the brakes? Just in case, if we need. Them. Um. <laughs> it pulls to the right a little bit if you brake hard. So okay. Just All right. Prepare for that. I, I thought thought I felt that a little bit earlier, but. Yeah. It's, okay. I've got it needs new brake hoses. I've got the parts to fix it, so it's just a matter of doing it. Yeah. Uh, it feels pretty good. Yeah. Nice and flat handling. Yeah, it's got brand new Michelin's on it. So. Jeez. It also has an LSD, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was an optional extra. I know a lot of people swap over the limited slips from these into the other cars and it's, all the BMW parts are like interchangeable. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's like crazy. Legos. Yeah. This thing handles incredibly well. <laughs> Holy crap, it was just flat through that whole entrance ramp. Yeah. I mean, alright, so here's the most surprising thing about this car. Um, this feels pretty modern. Like, this could have been made in the mid-2000s. You think so? Yeah. I guess I always seem to come across uh, cars that are still really solid. Yeah, so. well, you know, I mean, when you find something that, that's in really good shape, you kind of you kind of get a jump on it. Or it's just, you know, it's just nice. It's, it's nice to get a car that's that's been well, well taken care of. You can really tell that this has it. I mean, it honestly doesn't have a lot of miles on it for the, for the age. Definitely not. Has it seen winners? Yeah, I was just gonna say, it does that. It scared the crap out of me the first time it did it. It beeps every hour oh, to let okay. you know every hour. Oh, nice. Um, it's 8 o'clock. To answer if it's seen any winters, I'm not sure. Uh, it does have some rust on the doors, but I think that that's just from uh, the drains getting clogged. Yeah. There's no rust anywhere else other than the bottom of each door. Those door sills, they rust on everything. Yeah. All the BMWs of this era rust just so quickly. It's, it's, it's nuts. Yeah, so. I'm not too sure. It's just so smooth and luxurious. It's great. Yeah. It's definitely impressive for its age. One of the one of the biggest things that impresses me about these cars is just the suspension and the handling. Cars don't quite ride like this anymore. They're a little bit stiffer. They don't they 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 ride well, but their focus is on performance and handling. Even a lot of luxury cars. Um, something about this era of BMW, they got really, really right with the suspension. Um, they just there is just a kind of a magic to how it rides down the road and the geometry and everything that they put together. It just works really well. I mean, back there we went over some really rough bumps, and you barely felt them. And then you turn into an entrance ramp, and it feels super solid and confidence inspiring like you could push it even more you know this is it's just a really really good balance and it, they almost don't achieve that today almost but it's kind of something nice and unique to this era I, I appreciate that yeah I don't have too much experience driving new BMWs as yeah I do old BMWs I always seem to find myself in those but I mean from like the the comfort and ride quality standpoint not much has changed. They're not really any more comfortable than this, you know? <laughs> which is which says a lot. Yeah. The suspension in this feels pretty fresh too. Like as in as replaced? In, no, yeah, well as in just it feels it feels good. Oh, okay. It feels uh like there's nothing worn out or it feels nice and tight. Clicks as well if you push it down. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put, we're gonna get get some speed out of it here as we get into uh, the highway. Someone oh, just, someone's going backwards. Someone's going the wrong way. Someone's down the entering the exit ramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's drunk on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I mean, Saturday nights can get pretty crazy sometimes. Wow. Shift's 
pretty quick. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, four speed works great. It's got decent power. Yeah. Hey man, this thing is wicked smooth. It's great. I feel a little bit of judder from the brakes, but you know, brakes you can always replace brakes. It's, yeah. it's not a big deal. Cruise control work? I don't know, never tried it. Oh man. Well, now's not the time. <laughs> I'll say it's your favorite style of cruise control. Yeah, right? It's got the, the single button action. Yeah, this thing is cool, man. I, I'm i digging it. Is this guy broken down or just flashing because it's, it's bright? Okay. I think though. I think he's just oh nope oh. okay nobody nope. knows just not paying attention and flashing all right you can feel that this is a heavy car I mean these you know how many how much horsepower these three and a half liter V6 or C9 um, sixes did it has around 200 200 okay all right the car weighs a little under 4,000 okay all right so yeah you can feel the weight but once it gets up into the four or five thousand rpm it pulls it's just smooth power you know it's it's nice and easy it feels good let's pop the uh let's pull off here and we'll pop the uh pop the hood and see under the engine are nice and comfortable. I mean, this is, so I just drove the Lexus LS 500 in, in San Francisco and <clears throat> for their seats, they were like, our inspiration was a leather armchair. And they're like, the most important thing is the armrests in an armchair. They were like, they noticed all the, all the chairs that they drove or they sat in. They went to like a furniture store and sat in all their chairs and they found out which was their favorites and they noticed that they all had like significant armrests. So they designed the LS500 to have armrests and this has the same, well I guess one arm is a little bit higher than the other in this, but like this is the same, it's got the armrest right here, it's got the same seating position where you're just comfortable, you can relax, and these, yeah these can adjust, oh so you can you, you can make them even. Yep. Alright, there you go, yeah. Yeah, but it's very comfortable in here. It's nice. You get a little bit of foggy action. Does the AC work? It does, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, that's pretty pretty incredible that everything still works, works in this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For it being as old as I am, you know? <laughs> I mean, shoot. Cool. Radio works and everything, yep. too? Man. I always really... Yeah, it's got all this cool stuff. This is really here. neat. Yeah, you can do average MPG, average mile per hour, out exterior temperature, yep. distance, distance MP, time. Is, uh, range oh, you've got your range up 368 miles. I mean, this is like... This is just cool stuff yeah. for back in the day. Like That's, that's why you paid 50-some thousand dollars for these. Oh, yeah. Neat. Cool, yeah, let's check under the hood. I mean if it's if it's worth it, you know. Yeah, oh it's it's pretty cool. It looks it looks, it looks yeah. good, so you've got your little mirror action yep. here. Release for it is down. See it. Oh yeah, there it is. K X K A band. There we go. Oh yeah, there it is, 3.5 liter. Mm -hmm. Yes sir. Yeah. 
you gotta love an engine where you can actually like hear the injectors and everything. Yeah, <laughs> flip the throttle with your hands oh, still, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean they they use this straight six and everything yeah. for quite a while. I lived a long, lived a long illustrious life. Oh yeah. Cool. Well, hey man, I think that probably wraps it up. So. Let's uh, we'll throw some beauty shots in here and uh, end the video there. Thanks again for letting me drive. Yeah, of course. Man. We'll. Uh, We'll shut her off and call it a day. Cool. We can hear the weird noises that it makes. <laughs> All sorts of weird it's, stuff. It's just got to be some like pumps shutting down. That's really cool how you close that. And then you said this used to roll the windows down too? I believe too? so, yeah. Okay. Neat. Has a nice, solid, woomfy door close too. I always like to review the, the door close oh, action yeah, on always. cars. My E28 had a little bit more of like a ka-chunk. Okay. This is different, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things that, that feel similar, like this has, you know, same engine and probably a lot of same like BMW parts spin stuff. But also, this is a little bit later of a generation than the E28. This is kind of next-gen stuff. So, like, the the E, this is the E32. So, this, this is, like, is, yeah. the E32 7 Series, the E34 5 Series. These were kind of the same generation mm -hmm. of car. And they've re been refined quite a bit. I can feel that it's a lot heavier, um, but it's just a little bit more refined, a little bit more... You, you get better NVH. You're a little bit more isolated from everything. It's good stuff. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, check out You can check out Chris's other cars that we featured on the channel. He's got a Cobalt SS that's super clean. I think we featured that on the Topher or Winding Road. It was on Winding Road. Yeah, on Winding Road. And then we've got that Lexus, uh, his LS, or his IS300 uh, that we filmed just last a couple weeks ago. So anyway, we'll see you guys later. Knocking on your door, nobody got in. Now when you're screaming for.